If you're looking for magic cards, go to flipsidegaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. It's a good deal and helps support the show. What is up, Planeswalkers Theory 6 back with more Magic Together Arena. Today's video is also sponsored by the subscription button. Uh, press subscribe for more arena content and random bonus videos where I rate Pokeballs. Uh, today we're playing, uh, you know, it's it's going to be Wednesday for you all, so we're playing more Bolus. Um, we are going to essentially just jump right back into the last Bolus video that I played because I didn't play after it. So we're going to hop right back in. Now, I did change the deck that video. Um, however, I did not implement those changes because this is part of the same thing. Um, should I be doing that? Eh. Draven. That's a character from Runeterra. Oh, I think that Draven doesn't have a Y. Like, I'm still relatively new to playing Legends of Runeterra, all right? This hand is fine. If they're aggressive, we got this. Otherwise, we got these. Got a nice temple to start with. Interesting. I already have one of those, so I don't think I want it. Let's see. Blue, green. Is this a three-color deck, or is this just Simic Ramp? Or Flash? It's a Bant. Okay. Good to know. Although, I don't have action on it. It's Bant. Um... I think Kethis Combo... Yeah, Kethis Combo plays blue, so it's very possible that this is Kethis Combo. Um, a Syncopate hits me no matter what. Sensor hits me no matter what. So I think I'm fine not actually playing a land before I use this Thought Erasure. Obviously this Thought Erasure could get cancelled, or counterspelled in some way. Growth Spiral, okay. So that makes me think it's not Kethis Combo, especially since we don't have any black so far. So what type of Bant? What flavor of Bant? Okay, so it looks like it's Bant Historic with some nonsense flash garbage. Um, the issue is they've ramped a little. I think Teffers is just something that I can't abide. Um, yeah, Teffers just gives them too much card advantage. Tyrant Scorn. Tyrant Scorn does nothing for me. Yeah, so this turn they'll be able to play a 5 drop. Next turn I'll be on Atris. Not exactly where I want to be. So we're going to see um, Reclamation uh, into a uh, Wrath on, on my turn. Okay, well I'll have a Bolus. By next turn, I'll have a bolus. Yeah, you play Raph, that's fine. I really couldn't have done anything about that, so I don't particularly care. Okay, let's see what I see what I get here. Fires of Invention versus two other things. I'm pretty sure Fires of Invention is just the correct choice. Uh, this could be a Fires of Invention plus something else. Um, and that's like the only situation where I would prefer that. Otherwise, I think it is just this one. So that's interesting. Like, I don't think either of these are cards that I needed. I guess either way, I probably would have ended up picking this. Like, if, if I were shown these, I'd pick the one pile. Alright, so opponent only has two cards in hand, which is very lucky for me. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that... Um, well, I might as well attack first. With the fact that I took away the Teferi. So... I'm going to just play the Swamp here. This could get countered, which would absolutely suck, but it did not. So I'm going to play Bolus. Instead I have a second Bolus, I think I'm just going to kill this. There's only Historic Spells as though they had Flash. So my opponent could potentially play a Teferi on their turn. But they wouldn't be getting all that much done. Okay, so it looks like they didn't have anything. Yeah, because it went straight to their turn. Okay, so right now, whatever this card is, it's garbage. I assume that is actually what that card was. Gideon. I'm not too worried about Gideon either. Um, Gideon can't do anything right now. Uh, I can bedevil it and uh, just start plusing Bolas, so. Oh, hell yeah. Um, played this. We're going to do this first. I guess technically I probably should have played this first because it looks like, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was a slight mistake, but... I don't think I care. 
My apologies for the email. I do need to check that. Boop. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna bedevil. Do I use Bolus here? Yeah, I might as well. I The sequencing was bad, but I don't think it's gonna matter too much. No, just a hotel chain. Why why aren't you staying there? That's incredibly weird. Okay, so Bant Legends is what this looks like. Yeah, Bant Legendary Control. I, I'm not I'm not terribly worried about it. Especially considering I have a decent number of legends as well. So the um, Urza's Ruinous Blast is a card that I don't have to worry about at all. Um, I guess I'll Temple first. Well, mm, yeah, I don't know. There's a discussion to be made on whether or not I should have just played the Steam Vents and uh, used used uh, Baby Bullis. You know, scry. scry. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah, I think I think it probably would have been better. I would have got a garbage card, but I still might get a garbage card here, whereas before I could have done something different. So. Right, they kept both on top. So they're a fan of whatever they have. They decided to get rid of Omen. Sure. I smirk in for seven. Do I show the Ashiok? I mean, I guess I guess I might as well. Play the Ashiok, minus on this, force them to get rid of something. Just in case whatever's in their hand uh, needs <laughs> needs to also have the Reclamation. So if they have something like a Thassa's Intervention, then it's going to be worse. Your heroics are but a dream to me. Look at all my legends! Oh yeah, that, that is insufficient. That is grossly insufficient. Who's rough first? Sure. Oh right, I could just attack. They can't block. Oh, if you're like, I must play cautiously. I, this dude has Hexproof, or has um, Menace. All right, against this deck, Elder Spell, potential. Contempt, sure. Thought Distortion, sure. Sarkin, Sharon. Ego? Maybe Ego. Um, Eugene, all those seem fine. Um, Scorn, I don't see the reason. Uh, Nightmare is another one that I think is kind of meh. Ritual of Soots as well, just don't really do much. Cause I am barely breathing, I can't find the air Don't know who I'm kidding, imagining you care uh, So yeah, the, the updated version has access to Thief of Sanity on the side um, So that is something that I would be bringing in, but I can't So I got my nails done, February 14th or 15th, something like that I I just now had one start like this this wasn't like chipped or anything it just started to peel up a little bit so I, I took my clippers to to trim them down just to make sure uh it didn't pull up any of the the nail or any more of the nail um so it's the 10th when i'm recording this so it's been a, been a long time so this is a, we have to mulligan we have one land uh this is okay we'll keep this we'll drop the mass mines acquisition um hopefully the thought original will help us out a ton Castle Ardenville, interesting. So they can't play Gross Barrel in two. They can play Counter Spells, which are things that I I would expect for sure. But if they if they cast the Counter Spells too soon, they're not going to be able to hit my more important spells over here. But yeah, it looks like it's going to be a Quench, that's fine. Um, three mana. I guess they could play a Gideon. If they play a Gideon, I can just bedevil it on my turn. They play an Omen. No way they kept a two-lander, right? If these both go to the bottom, that makes me think that they... This makes me think they kept a two-lander. That seems like it was a lucky uh, lucky hit. I am going to shock here. 
just to be able to pretend like one I'm, I'm threatening counter spells two i'm able to just uh kill a gideon or something yeah my opponent kept a two-lander this was a lucky hit um that makes me think that my opponent has a decent amount of counter magic if that's the case i have to i'm, I'm trying to figure out if it's correct to play fires or just go in on boluses The thing is, we definitely want to cast a spell here, because if we don't, our opponent has a way to kind of get their advantage going with Omen of the Sea. So we'll be casting something. Um, I think I'm going to go for the fires right now. Because bowls is something that I want to stick. Yeah, that's fine. So I don't know if they had any other counter spells counter magic there that would have like not hit my uh bolus but we can find out next turn on dragon ball z all right yeah so my opponent won't be able to do anything now so i do kind of wish i went with bolus first but hindsight is 2020 okay so i assume that one on top is a land um we're gonna hit this and we're gonna just start hitting him in the face force out a card so they'll be on for next turn. Oh, Lyra. Don't even care. Lyra's actually something I can just deal with my bolus. Four mana, so they can have a Wrath. They they play the Wrath main, which is very interesting. Um, I think I just thought Distortion now. Yeah, I think I just thought Distortion them now. Uh, I think I attack first, though. Bye bye Damn, yeah. That was a pretty nice hit for us. If they were able to get a land, they could have potentially uh, conquered death my bolus here, and I wouldn't have been able to do anything about it, really. So now I'm going to be able to attack... And steal my opponent's Lyra. There we go. Boundless power. Yes! Unlimited power! <laughs> I am a god! Both is great. So is this Lemonade. Random Wolf. If this... If this man's is not playing wolves, this hand is not the best. The thing is, we have we have spells and lands. We have like all of our colors. The issue is that like both of these are far away, and this is like it's a risk. But I, I don't think that mulliganing here is better than just keeping this hand. It's definitely a a, a risk, but. I don't think it's sufficiently bad. Temple. So this could be, this could be wolves. Okay. So I can play Cry on two. If I can get to my fourth land, remember, I kept three. If I can get to my fourth land and play the field, it should be pretty helpful. Um, is this a mana creature? It is not. It's the Golgari Explore Package. Oh my gosh, one of the best things I could have top decked. Now I just need a top deck and untapped land, and uh, we are off to the races. This will help get rid of a Casualties of War. This might be a Jade Light Ranger here. Because it could technically be like a Thrashing Brondadon or something. Uh, Brondadon would be pretty bad for us. Um, nothing. Interesting. And I get to I get to see your hand, though. Um, let's see. They can't cast Negate. They have double Assassin's Trophy. They have a Hostage Taker. So no matter what, my fires are going to get blown to hell. But I think I would rather... I think I would rather force them to Assassin's Trophy me to ramp me so I don't even need my fires of inventions. Um, that said, I essentially need to grab something. So I'm taking, I'm taking Vraska's Contempt. I have to grab something with Mastermind's Acquisition. Ah. I think...
I think I'm going to grab a young bolus. No, I'm gonna be up to I'm going to be up to five next turn because there's no way my opponent lets me keep this fires. So I don't want to grab something my opponent can take with hostage taker. So if I'm gonna be on five, I think the best thing that I would want is well, I wonder. Hmm. I'm trying to think of I'm um, getting something from the main deck or the sideboard. I get a five. Uh, Eugene isn't really what I'm looking for. Do I want a Chandra? Uh, I think Chandra might be fine. Although I'd have to get a red here, which actually I could do. Yeah. Okay. We're we're gonna go grab a Chandra. Just because Chandra can't be countered. And we're gonna go grab our mountain. This way we'll have double. Just double check, make sure I want Chandra. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna grab Chandra. Chandra can't be countered, Chandra can't... Doesn't have to deal with this nonsense. It would have to deal with the Assassin's Trophy, but I'm going to play this first. So, they still can't... Yeah, so I'm gonna Ashiok and plus... Um, they still can't counter it with Negate. So this is Saltai. It's not even... It's not even Golgari. They didn't keep any ramp. Yeah, thanks. I'll go grab a Swamp. Yeah, because I have another red source here. Or blue source. So I have this. Does my opponent have a blue source yet? They, they kept a sketch hand. Like, it, if I was if I was an aggro deck, I think they would have been just completely demolished. Well, no, I guess not. If I had an aggro deck, then I wouldn't have been able to get rid of their, um, their annoying dude, their Wadgoth Walker. So, eh, I, I don't know. I still feel like it was kind of a weak keep. Um, we definitely want Tyrant Scorns to make sure we kill some things. Ritual Soot is better than Cry the Canary, even though Cry can hit, um, oh wait, is Hashish Taker? I can't, I can't, I can't see Hashish Taker. All right, whatever. Um, I think Hashish Taker's a... Is it 2-3 or 3-2? I think it's a 2-3. So yeah, it's not even that good. Um, we want more cards that are like just general 2-for-1s. Um, Unmoored Ego. Am I looking at Unmoored Ego in this? Possibly. Possibly. Mm. Eugene. Enter the God Eternals. Contempt. Hmm. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna grab on Mordigo. And it, it might be a mistake. The main reason is Casualties of War. Uh, that card just hurts me so bad because we are running enchantments, uh, lands, creatures, and planeswalkers, and just getting four permanents blown to, to smithereens from one card is really hard to come back from. This is a good hand. We have access to all three of our colors. We have three mana. We have Thought Erasure on turn two. Uh, Bedevil to get rid of uh, an early Wild Growth Walker or something just to make sure it doesn't grow too quickly. So my opponent does have blue. We also top deck a fire. So if we can get the fire, then that's pretty good for us. Let's see if they play a Wild Growth Walker. Um, if they do, sniping a, a Jade Light Ranger would be great. So it looks like they are probably going to be playing a Wild Growth Walker here. Nope, just a Branch Walker. Okay. A lot better for me. They got another land, that's fine, because it doesn't come into play. And I'm looking for a fourth land. So let's see, they have Cast Down. Cast Down does nothing against me. Like, it hits Ashok tokens, and that's it. Um, Assassin's Trophy. I have two fires, so I don't care about the Assassin's Trophy. Um, I don't think I care about Contempt. I think it's just the Negate that I want to deal with. Yeah. And that's not a land, but it's something to do on turn three. Because I don't care about that. Sure. And if they play a creature, then I can just kill it. Like, if they play something I'm I afraid of, then I can just kill it this turn, so. Risen Reef. Yeah, I'm probably going to kill this. Am I? That's a very good question. I don't know. I think I'm going to Thought Erasure. I think I still value that slightly. We'll go and get, get rid of that. Ritual of Soot? Oh, man. 
I want the ritual soap, but I, I think I just don't take it. Um, the reason for that is, one, we have acquisition, so I can potentially acquisition for another uh, board wipe. But I essentially need to make sure... I, I need to get to four, uh, four lands. So, take three. Not, not a big issue here. Cool. Uh, I took away two counter spells. Let's see if they got another. Seems like they may have. Nope. Um, do I want to acquisition now? So I'm going to get a fifth land. So I think I'm going to acquisition for... A ritual? Yeah, sure. Yeah. And they're going to trophy me. Yeah, luckily they don't get to see what I'm getting. Oh, where you were? There you are. So they don't know what I have. And they're going to trophy my fires. I'm going to grab a mountain, I guess. That way if I top deck a Sarkin, I can cast it. But, I mean, we should have fires and fetching, so. So my plan is to Invention plus Ritual. I guess I technically could have gotten Kai's Wrath. I'm just worried about the my inability to cast it. Um, luckily, I know two of their cards. This card is useless. This card is what it is, essentially. Um, but it's going to be partially wasted on an Ashiok. Do you have a cast? Well, you don't. So I'm going to go and Ritual this, because I'm getting to 10. I'm getting to a point where... Not a big fan of what's happening to my face, so. Okay. So I got my fires. It could go away potentially. Branch Walker, don't care. Gonna Ashiok and plus. Yeah, don't really care about you getting into additional lands. Uh, my Ashiok is going to bite the dust. But I'll have a 2-3, which I guess they might actually get rid of here. Um, ooh, I can acquisition. Um, is there a 5 drop that I want to get right now? No, I think I'm going to hold on to the acquisition for right now. Well, I don't know. <laughs> the shadows awaken. I don't know what my opponent has. I think I'm actually just going to acquisition for Bolas. <laughs> like, you can never go wrong with a Nikki B. They're going to cast down that, and then rest Contempt on their turn, I think. Which is fine, because next turn, I plan on playing both. They don't have Triple Black, so they couldn't have uh, Citadel. Looks like they are just going to Contempt that. Totally fine. Going to go to 8. Once again, totally fine. Uh, we have been kind of lucky on them whiffing with their Branch Walkers. Uh, we could be at, like, 4 right now. Um, so we're going to Ashiok first, because... Well... I think I'm gonna bolus first. Okay. Your gods once. I am one again. Okay, so they got rid of the card in their hand, which means I don't need to play my mini B. I wonder if you Oh your fears are given for Vraska. Vraska kill my two three? Nope, just sack of land. I probably would have sacrificed the islands. I don't suspect they have too much need for blue. Not quad blue, at least. Thief of Sanity. Yeah, I, I do not care. At this point, you are almost certainly just, like, actually dead. Um, so we're going to go ahead and... I could minus... I think I'd rather just draw cards. What can I say? I really like drawing cards. Go on, minus on Ashiok. I don't. I think I just want to... Bedevil you. And scorn... You. And attack for two. Yeah. 
I'm at eight. Not the healthiest of life totals to be, but opponent's down to five mana. They have a single two one. They've got See, they probably should have kept that on top. They should have kept that on top and then got rid of it. Although, eh, then they would have probably drawn that. So yeah, I don't know. I have a three two now, but I I don't care. This should be signed, sealed, and delivered. Is this my second game or my first game? No, first game was against Bam. Cool. Um there's nothing in here I care about, so. I'm going to attack with both of these. To get max value out of Ashok. <laughs> you have no weakness that I cannot explain. And the reason I'm fine with that is because if there's nothing I really want, and it's looking more and more like there isn't, I can just uh, plus Ashok and then play Bully. That's fine with me. We play Bully. Um, I could use Ravager now. Nah. Nah, we won. 26? Alright, we might get a three, a three best of three video. I mean, we're, we're going to. It's... Is this going to be a normal size video, or is it going to be super long? Winning twenty six fifty going into the third the third game, not bad, because Bolus is the best. All right, going second against a Fibble Thip. We don't have any red, but we do have interactivity. On turn two, if our opponent is. Not a control deck. Um, I will keep this. And probably instantly regret it. Okay. Need a red source, and then I can do stuff. Unfortunately, I'm going to assume my opponent is not doing much of anything that I'm going to care about. That I'm going to be able to care about. For a, a little while. Esper. Yep. 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 This is this is a bad matchup for my opening hand here. This is almost certainly just going to be a bunch of control shenanigans. They're holding up the ability to um, to counter this. Yep. So this is just Esper control, and I had a non-Esper hand. So this is. One of those matchups where having the FIFA Sandy would be a lot better. This Thought Erasure, um, I assume they take the Nightmare Muse. Because I can't use the fires unless I top deck a, a red source. Interesting. So they, they have to have Counterspell. And of course, I drew a 4 drop, but it's 4 drop I couldn't use. So this is probably just. Three mana teppers. I'm known for my excellent. If I top deck a red source, I think I can get back into this. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Because luckily they're also never mind. I was gonna say they're also whiffing on mana. I gotta land, um, but I'm almost certain my Ash is gonna get Oh my gosh, it's a it's a round. Alright, we're gonna plus here. Yeah. Like, bouncing a one mana, uh, a one loyalty to fairy means nothing. Bouncing this means pretty much nothing. Um, so this is going to help me out. Because this can pressure the Teferi. Um, if they remove Ashiok, it will take mana away from them to be able to counter. Uh, you know, hopefully a, a Fire Zone Vention into a Bolus. Okay. So I can kill Teferi now, which is nice. No, I am not making this up as I go. Top deck red source? Nope. Um, sure. I'll keep it. It's... Probably not the greatest. Eh, got rid of a Kai's Wrath, which... Probably would have been okay with them drawing. Although they would have gotten rid of it. They can... Flip that again. I'm waiting for the infusion of uh, other historic cards. What was the historic anthology 2 again? Historic... Anthology 2. Another Teffers! Oh no. 
I know my responsibility. Trust me, I have a plan. Let's see. An extra tide is a pretty interesting one. I'm gonna do this. Probably gonna get countered. Um, and we'll essentially play to get a little bit more information, but interesting drone unlock. So that's information I didn't have initially. Um, so we're going to pass. But essentially we're we're not we're not gonna be showing my opponent anything extra. Don't worry, I got this. Got two mana. Well, they already know about fire, so I'm going to try and cast fires and see if this resolves. It does. Okay. I'm going to cast Bolas and see if this resolves. They didn't know about my Bolas, but I'm playing Grixis. Okay. Um, I can't do anything else. Alright, sure. Um, I can actually use my Bolas. So I can use my bolus to get my Ashiok back. Never mind. So I can kill this and this. They had to they had to make it like just enticing enough, didn't they? I'm just gonna kill this. Okay. I assume they're going to Teferi bounce this, or Tucker, whatever you want to call it. Nope. I just want to drop. Quickly. That's fair. Um, I think I need, like... I don't even think Acquisition helps. No. Alright. So we got an okay amount of information there. Not a ton, but an okay amount. Um, for creatures, it looked like it was only, it was only Murder Shredder, so I'm pretty confident in being able to just drop all of this. Possibly want to drop that as well. Definitely want Elder Spell, um, Contempt, Distortion, Sark, and Sharon, um, Ego, Ugin, probably don't need those. So it's just, just like shift our deck forward a little bit. To just have fewer dead spells. Yeah, I think this is fine. Once again, there's a situation where Thief Ascending would be a fantastic add here. We'll play first. This hand is not as aggressive as I would like it to be, but uh, we have the spells, we have the, the land, so I think, I think this is one we have to keep. Okay, mulligan for my opponent. Pretty helpful. We have to pay attention to where their card goes. Oh, right, I forgot this is no longer the London mulligan. There have been... I've seen too many damn mulligans in my time. Nope. Okay. Once again, I... I need a land. Duress. Okay, that probably gets rid of fires. Yeah. Okay, so the land it means a lot less... I probably will acquisition for a fires if I drew a land. Of course I didn't. I'm going to name Teferi Hero of Dominaria. Okay, so they have Drawing the Lock, Murderous Rider. Good to know. Dust's Intervention. Ashia. So yeah, their wind can- oh, Eldritchborn. That's very good to know. Okay. So we're yanking these out of the deck. So we have two. If I didn't play that, they should have. Do I cast Atris? Do I Mastermind's Acquisition? We have three. Keep the number of cards. I think I have to. I think I have to mastermind's acquisition for a fires. 
and hope to have that resolved before my opponent can get anything else. They should have played Castle Arden Vale. Ah, it would have come in tab. Never mind. That turn they should have played Castle Arden Vale. Okay, it resolves. That's great for me. Um, I'm going to play Sarkin. Yeah, I'm going to play Sarkin and minus three. This way I have two, two threats on board. And my opponent's going to be a little bit more hard-pressed to decide which to kill. Um, I assume, yeah, it's just going to be Sarkin, but still. Um, this can also potentially tie up their mana next turn into just playing this. But I have a 4-4 dragon now. And that's something I could not have said before. Um, so I'm going to Ashok before. Okay. Ashok going to minus. <laughs> Looks like it. Welcome sure. To my domain. Let's see. Things I like more. I think I just exile one of my Ashioks. And play this Ashiok first. And the reason we do that is so that my opponent can't drown in the lock this. They can only plus this, unless they also have an Elder Spell. I am going to plus Ashiok. I'm going to cast Atris in his prop. I think I need to save my Massima's Acquisition. And I think I need to do this. If I top deck a land next turn, I can Massima's Acquisition for Thought Collapse or whatever the hell it is. Yeah, this way I also have access to Elder Spell. I can no longer Minus three on that. Okay. Don't... Plus on Ashiok, I assume. Come on, cast cast some Murderer Strider. Okay. I really need... Oh, fan-fucking-tastic. Thought Eraser. Whether or not they counter this, I use their mana. That's what I'm looking for, baby. Good and bye. Make my Ashiok beefy as fuck. Oh! Oh, baby! I cast, I cast two things this turn. I cannot do this yet. I'm going to... Minus three will put me at seven... Shit. Minus three would put me on seven. I'm not going to bounce with this, obviously, but I can get rid of whatever this card is in their hand. I mean, the thing is, next one I have Massimo's Acquisition anyway, so I'm not sure I care about this Ashiok going down slightly. I think it's a little bit better, because if I plus... If I if I plus, then I get a 2-3, I can block one of these. This goes down. This goes up to 11, down to 9. Then I can do this next turn. However, I don't know what this is, and it could be brutal. I think the safest play is to bounce, bounce that... Forcing them to exile that shit is just a land. Didn't didn't work out. That's fine. We have Massimo's acquisition. My opponent doesn't. Ashok's gonna get hit. That's fine. Fantastic. My opponent has nothing. Um, three, six. Okay. I can grab something from my deck. I think it's just going to be Bolus. Is it just going to be Bolus? Could be Eugene. Eugene is not bad. Eugene provides me with card advantage as well. However, Bolus provides me with card advantage and forces my opponent to slowly lose stuff. I'm not going to lie. Looking at my opponent's... Shit, I... I don't think my opponent had mass manipulation in their deck. I'm not going to lie, I'm a tiny bit afraid of that. Um, I think this turn, though, instead of drawing a card, I think I'm going to plus both of them to get a 2-3. Because I can't cast another spell anyway. I don't want my opponent to, like, have access to a Duress or a Thought Erasure. Um, they're going to be able to get this 1-1. One, one. I do not care. So they're in top deck mode. I have a decent board position, and that's how you do it. On to game 3. Am I hype? Yes, I am. Fuck you. I live to play Bolo's Control. 
Is there anything that I want to change based on the information I gather here? I don't I don't think so. Um No, I don't think so. You're gonna play the game, the PlayStation OG, with the Metal Gear Solid and Tekken 3. And from a mega book to Resident Evil, just play for the fun, cause we got it going on. Yeah, fun fact, there are a lot more Eiffel 65 songs than I'm Blue. My dad had the CD. You kids these days don't even know what CDs are. Obviously you do. I'm, I'm poking fun. I should sit better. Oh, uh, that's uh, that's a no. Uh, is it? Uh. Like I'm gonna flood out. Is the issue? Is it the major malfunction? For what it's worth, I don't actually know. I don't think I'm gonna win this match. Um, but the fact that I won last game was nice. We're going second. We have Temple of Seed. I'm gonna keep this hand. I, I think with Bedevil and Mastermind's acquisition, it's probably a mistake to put myself in a, a situation where I might just draw not enough lands, and then I realize I'm just going to I'm just going to flood. Thought race takes Bedevil. Well, I actually assume this is gonna take Mastermind's acquisition. Yeah. Can I top deck a Alright, that's something. It's not something I'm going to be able to play this turn, but it is something. So let's see, it's a fairy here. Yep, minus three. Sorry, I'm late. Do I untap the devil bats? That's more like I it. think I do. All right, the fact that we have double fires invention makes me feel a little bit better. Just a little bit, though. Obviously, they already got their, their card out of that, but... They knew about the Bedevil, it would have been weird if I hadn't cast it. Um, we're going to play Fires of Invention. It's probably going to get countered. Next time we're going to play Fires of Invention. It's probably going to get countered. Okay, this doesn't get countered. <sighs> There's so many things I have to play around. I feel like it took enough time on the stack that my opponent has a response for it. So now I have to decide, does my opponent have another discard spell? I know they're playing Duress, so it's possible that I have Duress and not another Thought Erasure. That is probably slightly more likely. I'm going to run this out. And let's see if they get the Hubris and counter that. They didn't, but that doesn't... That doesn't make me confident they had nothing. Intervention. Okay, so they did have Thalsa's Intervention, and they would have countered that. So next turn, I'm going to be able to play my Bolas without having to deal with Thalsa's Intervention or Sensor. And because I played two of these, I don't have to worry about Teferi as much. I'm Still no, have to worry about Teferi a little, um, but Dovin's Veto is not something I have to care about. The fact that I got another of those is not great, but... Okay, so at the very least, I get a two for one here. So they do have a duress. That's fine. I need to not draw any more lands, like for the rest of the entire game. Okay. Does this resolve? Looks like no. No, okay. I need this to not be a land. I need this to be a card of action. You know what? I'm not done yet. Search. Sure. I mean, I'll take it. That's fine. Next turn, I can... Yeah, next turn, if my bolus resolves, I can... Oh, fuck. Midnight Reaper. Let's skip to the why? Midnight Reaper, why? I can potentially cast and use bolus. Fuck. I wonder if you... The shadow I have to. I have to try it. Um, that's the Hail Mary I have to do. 
Um, absorb. And that's a good concession. Damn. It's possible. It's possible I shouldn't have kept that hand. Yeah, it's possible I just needed a more front forward hand. Um, although that is the last of these games. Because, well, for what it's worth, how much how much did this cost to do? So that's fifteen hundred. Motherfucker, I was looking at something. Oh, one thousand. Okay, sure. So at least I made my money back. Um, however, the next time we play, um, Old Bolus has some slight differences. You'll see here. I don't have any of the Tyrant's Horn main deck. I have not been running into aggro like at all. Uh, so I still. So now I only have the rituals and. Or the, the cries and the rituals. I cut down on ritual. I did plus on Elspeth's Nightmare a little bit, just in case. Uh, and then in the sideboard, we have two Thief Steadies and two Onward Egos instead of whatever we had last time. Um, yeah, so hopefully this will be a little bit better. For what it's worth, now that I have three Search for Kentas, I might pop off one of these Castle Ventresses, but I'm not entirely sure. I want to take it slow. Take it take it one step at a time. I'm going to hop into the Mastery Tree. What am I doing? Oh. Red Man's the last one, apparently. Cool, 26 out of 30. I do not care. Well, let's open some packs. I absolutely love playing Bolus, man. This is that this is that real fun. That good good, as they say. Who's they? Oh, I had no idea. Well, uh, fantastic. I'd like to thank my lovely patrons, especially Zen for the continued support. If you'd like to join them and support the show, you'll find links to that where? In the description below. I <laughs> I totally forgot that I was gonna, I was talking about uh, the other cards in uh, Historic Anthology 2. Uh, Waste Not, I'm building a Pox deck for sure. Uh, Dragon Master Outcast, I don't... I want to use something with that, I just don't know how. Um, Night of the Reliquary, I'm going to try and make some sort of Maverick deck, especially since we also have Maelstrom Pulse. Um, Meddling Mage is hilarious. Platinum Angel is... Also hilarious, I, I feel like there's probably a way to break that card in standard, or in historic, but I don't actually know. And a lot of lands. We got the cycling lands um, and ghost quarter. Uh, and we also, I mean, we have Th Thalia. So I mean, I'm definitely playing some sort of death and taxes deck as well. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, go and tap that like button, add subscription to your channel. Cool? Cool? Whatever. Cast a... What? Cast a comment to the comment section below. <laughs> Pass the turn of the vid to some of your friends. And of course, until next time. All will be one.